Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, the most gracious and powerful and grand mother of all. So we are here to give to you, Lord, we women, your daughter, a beautiful story. And we know she is not for her lot. The Bible says, I read that there is something of this treasure gold. Cannot be compared with the glory that she has received. And we know right now that she is with the angel. She is in the presence of God. The Bible says, absent in the body, present with the Lord. Let's all stand. Father, we come to you in the blessed name of Jesus. Lord, we give you thanks. You said in everything, give thanks. And we give you thanks for Sister Elsie Rupchan right now. We thank you for her life and her legacy. And Lord, we know you are here with us today. You said you are here and near the brokenhearted. Father, and I thank you, God. You are our refuge and our strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Lord, look upon, Lord, the entire family here, every daughter, the sons. Lord, we look upon the neighbors, the well-wishers here, even this home, this funeral home, and everyone who is involved in the preparation, God. We know when this earthly body is, oh God, is ready to go, there is a tabernacle with God that you have gone to prepare. And Lord, we know, God, we have the show assurance of the resurrection of Jesus. You said the Lord himself shall descend with a shout, with the voice of the triumph and the angels and the dead in Christ shall rise and those that are alive shall be caught up to meet you in the air. So Lord, we comfort one another with your word. You are here, Lord. We ask you for guiding us throughout this proceeding in Jesus' wonderful and precious name. Amen. Let's repeat the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Here do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou... <clears throat> table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. While you are standing, let's turn to the booklet and let us sing together. We have a friend that sticketh closer to than a brother. That a friend who is always there. One thing we know is Jesus cares. If anyone cares, he cares. He knows the loss, right? And it says, and Jesus wept. Remember, he weeps with us, but he gives us consolation. Let's sing together. What a friend we have in Jesus. Sins and grace to bear. What a privilege to carry. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share? Jesus 
Jesus knows our every weakness. Take care to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden? Come but with a load of care. Precious Savior, still our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise forsake thee. Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield thee. Thou will find a solace there. Amen. You may be seated. And this part, you know, we, we have a, a time frame in which to work. So I'd like to call on the, Sister Elsie's daughter, Sister Rajdi. Are you the one reading the eulogy? Okay. Good morning and welcome. Thank you. You can just introduce. Good morning. My name is Annie. I'm Rajni Neva, and um, we live very close, very, very close. Um, this morning, we are here to celebrate the life of Elsie Rupchan, better known as Mama, lovingly known as Mama. She was married to her deceased husband, Rupchan Duroga, from Phoenix Park, California. At the age of 13, she became the mother of eight children, with two deceased, and she's also the grandmother of 25, great-grandmother of 32. She will always be lovingly remembered by everyone. She was hard. In her young days, she worked at Karani in the cane field with her husband, cutting cane, and she also worked with private cane farmers harvesting cane. That's a lot of work and very, very hard work for her family. She was a committed, dedicated, loving mother. She worked on the Highway selling corn, that's hard work. Boil corn and roast corn. Most of her life she spent working hard. But she maintained being a mother. She always cared for people, her neighbors, her friends, her family. She was a mother. She also helped people who had needs. Even though she was hard working, she always cared for others. She always had a smile on her face, always. She will come by us whenever she comes to see her daughter, Rajdi. She'll come across happy, always glad to come across. Well, I live in a little bush, but she will come through that, always well-dressed, clean, beautiful hair intact, nice. She used to carry me to Renzi Complex with her in those days, to classical chutney singing. I never knew about that, but she took me and we would listen from the beginning. And we would dance, she would dance. She lived a full life. She celebrated others. She loved the songs there, so she enjoyed herself. She made sure that she enjoyed her life on the earth. She always carried a smile I never see her frown, I never see her angry, even to the last. She loved coming together with her family, having nice food, curry shrimp, curry duck, roti. She loved eating nice food, good things. Mama was very pleasant. 
She was kind-hearted and she was warm. To her grandchildren, she was known as young girl because she never acted her age. She was always in corporate with everyone. I remember when her grandson Ryan was small, she would always have him. No matter where she go, when she come by her, she will always bring Ryan with her. And she showed him so much love. In her last few weeks on the earth, one day I spent a little time with her. Um, Raja had to go out and she asked me to come and stay with Mama. I asked Mama, I said, Mama, you're here with Raj today. How will she treat you? She said, very good. And she lifted her hands up and she just cried. And she said, everything Raj they do for me. I don't know what would I do without her. Everything. I said, she miss anything? She said, no. And she said, God bless Raj Day. She blessed all her children, although she longed to see them come. She had love in her heart. My two brothers, she always say, you know, God bless Kuti and Horace. He will always come and kiss me and say, Mama, Merry Christmas. Curtis, the neighbor she mentioned, everyone who was kind to her and reached out to her, she reached out to them. And she would pray. She will always pray. All right, when we go to visit, she will, she hear a voice outside, she will call, come inside, how are you going? And she was beautiful. Her face, even though she was in pain, her face was so full. When you look at her face, you will say, Mama, what you're saying and your face, it doesn't match. Because her face was full. But all the longing she had in her heart was to be with family. Hema, she always mentioned you. And she would cry. She gave her heart to Jesus many years. And she became a member of Assembly of God Church. She always blessed people. If you was present or if you was absent, she would call your name. She had all her senses. It was intact. She didn't lose her memory. She had all her mind. Her heart expression was blessings for all her children, her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren. And she, she told me when I spoke with her that day, she wished all of them blessings and that they live in unity. We will always remember Mama. She, what she did have, have left an impression in the hearts of many. And for that, we will be forever grateful. She's gone, but she will never be forgotten. She will always be remembered in her heart as Mama. Thank you. Well done, Sister Annie. A lot of good details that we didn't know. I wonder where I knew her from, and then I realized that it was from seeing her on the highway. Rain, sun, whatnot, she was working, right? And trying to do her best for her children, raising them up. It was hard work, it was suffering, it was under trial. But she was a good mother. She worked, she cut cane, she did everything. Remember the mothers of yesteryear? They had to crack the wood. It could be wet, but they would do whatever it takes to get food for their children. And that's why the Bible says, honor your father and mother in the Lord. Your father and mother may not be perfect, but you honor them. He says it will be well with you and you will live long. All right? There is no condition. You honor your father and mother. Sometimes they are not right, but you honor them. And so honor the memory. I just want to acknowledge uh, Rajpati, the, the daughters and such, Rajpati, Rajde, Gita, Mahade, Satnarain, Hema. Okay, welcome you from New York and, of, and two deceased sons. Uh, sister of Daria. What? Dal. Dal. Okay. And three others. Grandmother of Sally, Annie, Patrick, Nicholas, Patricia, 
Adrian, Reshma, Indra, Indira, Andy, Jaden, Stephen, Ryan, Brian, Leon, Rishi, Ravi, Kamal, Ravi, Richard, Lawrence, Fadio, Christine, Dingi, and Samantha. I say your name because you are important, were very important to her. Right? God bless you all. You will continue. Let's sing that song there. If you have your sheet. In the sweet by and by. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith we can see it afar. For the Father waits over the way. To prepare us a dwelling place there. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. In the sweet by and by, we shall meet on the beautiful shore. We shall sing on the beautiful show The melodious songs of the blessed And the spirit shall sorrow no more Not a sigh for the blessings of rest In the sweet by and by we shall meet on the beautiful shore In the sweet by and by We shall meet on the beautiful shore To a bountiful Father above We will offer a tribute of praise for the glorious gift of his love And the blessing that hallow our days In the sweet by and by We shall meet on the beautiful shore In the sweet by and by We shall meet on the beautiful show. Isn't that an assurance? Wonderful encouragement. We shall meet on that beautiful show. The Bible says, Eyes have not seen, and ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man the things that God has provided to those that love him. Love him. So love Jesus now. When you love Jesus, he will take care of you. It is my pleasure this evening, or this, after, this morning, sorry, to welcome Pastor Jeffers. Jeffrey, is he here? Let's just bow our heads as he comes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for everything that is to be said and done. We thank you for your word that brings encouragement and hope and light to our lives. God, it brings comfort to our sorrows. Lord, we thank you, God, that Sister Elsie, Put her life in your hand and your word. And we know, God, she's reaping the rewards. Father, we thank you. She built her house on Jesus. And we know today, Lord, she is with you. Bless your servant, God. Use him mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. A uh, pleasant good morning to you wonderful people. To the bereaved family, I want to say it's a sad time. But it's also a good time. The thing about death is that people that never used to talk begins to talk. People that never came together came together. So even in death, Mama is still speaking. Her wishes are coming forth. Sons and daughters are coming together from near and from far. So we give God praise this morning because he's good. He's a reward of them that diligently seek him. It's good to see Annie. I've not seen her in a long, long while. You know, and Rajpati and some of them that I know personally. And I, I thank God because he's awesome on this morning. So we pray God that even as I share, Mama was special to us. Especially to my wife, you know, she, they had a good rapport, they had a good relationship. 
and we are truly grateful you see sometimes being around the elderly is a blessing they impart wisdom to you they impart knowledge to you and it's so good to be comforted when wisdom is imparted and you take that wisdom and it helps your long life journey because it's a journey that we are on this morning some may fall into pitfalls and some may detour and stray but at the end of the day if we will receive instruction we will live and we will learn as we travel along life's journey this morning i just want to touch on a portion of scripture in the book of job chapter 14 and verse 1 it says man that is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble and we are living in trouble times a few days you know in Psalms 90 around verse 12 it says so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom we are living in trouble times we are living in fearful times but at the end of the day Jesus said in me you're gonna have peace in me you're gonna have comfort when men betray you when men use you abuse you and misuse you Jesus said in me you're gonna have peace you see in the midst of trouble times in the midst of chaos in the midst of confusion Jesus is the answer for the world today and all that is happening around us it says man is like the sparks that fly upwards they are like a vapor that appear it for a little while and then vanishes away they are like a blade of grass that is here today and the lawnmower or the waka passes over it and cuts it down and it dries up and it is no more and the question Job asks in Job 14 and 14, he said, if a man die, shall he live again? If a man die, he said, there is, there is, if I cut down a tree and by reason of water flowing and touching in that tree that is fallen, it begins to send forth and shoot out butter. But if a man die, if a man is cut down, if a man is taken away, is there hope for that man? The Bible says uh, that there is an appointed time for man. You know, I was, while I was coming up the road, I was thinking about this. I said, you know, a lot of time people who play play away, and they say the Chinese man number is this. The, this one number is that. And they can tell you what number is that one. But may I ask you a question this morning? Do you know your number? Do you know what your number is this morning? This is why we have to live right. This is why it is not a time for confusion and strife. This is a time when we must look to Jesus and come together to fight against the enemy of our souls. The Bible says in John 10, 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Jesus said, I am come that you, 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 you here may have life, eternal life. God kind of life, so we kind of life, that you may enjoy life to its fullest. You see, he's the prince of peace this morning. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright and the morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000. He's the traveler that came to us when we were lost. He's the compass to the guide on this morning. He's the bright and morning star on this morning. He is the lily of the valley on this morning. He's the one who was, who is, and who is coming again. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same tomorrow. He's the alpha and the omega. He is the beginning and the end. He's the a and the C. He's the Aleph and the Tor. He's the beginning and the ending. 
unto us this morning. Whatever situation that we may find ourselves in, I declare to you that there is a great and mighty God who has touched with the feeling of our infirmity in all that we will ever go through in life. He went through, so he have experienced. So all the pains, all the heartache, all the situation, the problems that we are going through this morning, in spite of the death, Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly this morning. I declare to you this morning that God is great. Hear what Job 7 and 4, 7 says here. Job, Job 7 and 1. He said, is there not an appointed time to man upon the earth? Question. And not his days also like the days of an hireling? My God. He asks a question. Jesus said, your time is always. Listen to me. We are living in crucial times. We are living in difficult times. The Bible says in the last days, perilous times will come. Men will be lovers of themselves, haters, boasters, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. These are the days that we are living in. We are afraid of the pandemic. But listen to me, Jesus has overcome even the pandemic. So in him, you have life. In him, you have protection. In him, you have joy. In him, you have peace this morning. In spite of, of how it may look, Jesus conquers all. In spite of the negative situation, in spite of death all around you, Jesus said, I am come that you might have life this morning. So there's only life in Jesus on this morning. He's your peace on this morning. The Bible says, appointed unto man wants to die. But after death, the judgment. So there is a judgment. So there is a judgment this morning. So we need to know how to live. Not just how to live for ourselves, but we need to know how to live with one another. Because at the end of the day, it's only a few days. It's only a few days. It's not about how much knowledge you have. It's not about what this one do and what that one do. At the end of the day, Jesus is going to ask you a personal question. With the knowledge you have of all who did this and all who did that. And they didn't do and what they say and what they didn't say. And who was against me and who didn't like me and who hated me. He's going to ask you a question. With all the knowledge that you had, what did you do with it? Did you do good with it? Did you do evil with it? When you had the opportunity to do good to somebody, did you spy them? I ask you a question. When you had good at your hand, you see it's not about somebody doing your bad and you catch them and you say, well, up. I go whip them. It's not about that. It's not about that this morning. It's about have you loved. You listen to me. With all the giving you can give, if you are given and there's unforgiveness in your heart, you're going to spit where hell wide open. And listen to me, there is a heaven and there is a hell. And Jesus Christ said, Jerry, you must forgive from your heart. Some people, they say, I will forgive you, but I'll never forget you. Listen to me, if God was to count up, calculate, account our iniquities, the Bible says, who would stand? Listen to me, this thing about not how rich you are, how educated you are, how eloquent you are, how articulate you are, crossing your T's and dotting your I's, and the etymology of words, bringing words together. It's not about that. It's about your heart condition this morning. In Proverbs 4 and 23, it says, Guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Are you giving life from your heart? Listen to me, we will all will be hurt by somebody at some time. We will maybe be betrayed by somebody at some time. Listen to me. Sometimes people, your friend, sometimes people who you're trusting and confiding, they may say things about you behind your back. But at the end of the day, it's not how people deal with you. It's how you respond to people. <laughs> it's how you respond to people. Listen to me. People are going to always hurt you. But you know what I love about mama? She was willing to release things. 
She was willing to release things. Listen to me. These are times we need to release people. We need to release things. Because you're going to feel that you're good and there's none good. There's none good. We're going to make mistakes and we're going to continue to make mistakes. But the thing about it, God said if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Listen to me. The Bible says our righteousness is a filthy rag like drain water. So spit latrine water. That's how our goodness is. It's only God goodness that makes us good. Listen to me, all the beautiful women look this morning and dress up nicer and creaming our flesh and making our face pretty and nicer and looking beautiful. Listen to me, this flesh is going to rotten when we die and it's going to stink. It's going to stink. Hello? All the nicest people when we go in a box after a couple of days, it's warm food. This is why we need to keep good memories. This is why we need to love one another. Because at the end of the day, family matters. I know if you ever saw that show. Family matters at the end of the day. Family is not just a psychological word. It matters. God choose you to the family, to the husband, to the wife, to the, to the brother and the sister that he wanted you. So it matters this morning. Is there an appointed time? Yes, there is an appointed time for man to die. Do you know your time to die? Do you know your time? Many other people that when the, somebody going down in the grave, they cry and they go, oh gosh, there were so many things I wanted to tell you. There were so many things happened between me and you. Look, no, I, I don't even have any time to tell you. Listen to me. While the person is alive, take down your pride and go and say, look to me. I remember there was a time me and my son in the States had some, a little misunderstanding. I'm just saying personal experience here. And he was wrong. I know he was wrong. But where he was going, he didn't want to listen. I had to call him a day and say, son, forgive me. Forgive me for being wrong. Forgive me. Because why? I wanted a relationship. But some of us, we know, I write and, and I this and I know. Some of us go to a grave. It's like you're standing at a traffic light and you're, the light is green, but a big Mack truck coming down the road. Tell me if you're going to cross. Even though you're right, even though the light is green, go. You'll never go. You'll say, you see me? I want to live. Let that truck pass. Let it pass. And sometime in life, we're going to let some things pass. We're going to let some confusion pass. We're going to let some things pass. You know, my God, there are some fights. We're going to say, that's not my fight. Leave it alone. There are some situations we're going to say, leave it alone. Because at the end of the day, it's what we do for God. What we do for Christ. I'm not talking about religion here, you know. Good, when you do good, good follows you. The Bible says, whatever man sow, that shall you also reap. So if you sow confusion, don't be surprised confusion come to you. If you show all kinds of different manner, it's going to come at you. So this morning, mama is dead, but yet she's speaking. You all would have never come together like this. But for mama. Hallelujah. She's saying things this morning. And I want to encourage you this morning. Know your appointed time. Because we have a few days. And the few days that we have, let us love one another. The few days that we have, let us forgive. Let us celebrate one another. Let us be joyful for each other's success. Time is short. Teach us the number of days. That we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Wisdom, how to live. Wisdom, how to forgive. Wisdom, how to go on. So this morning, I encourage you, love one another, and let the peace of God rule your heart and your mind. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I'm going to hand back to Pastor. Hallelujah. So my thing to you, let, come with me. let mother love share this morning. Love you.
Father, we thank you. We thank you for every soul, every family, every individual that's represented here this morning, God. Father, we declare your glory upon them. Your word declares in you, in John 1 and 4, in him was light and the light was the life of men. We declare life this evening, Father God. Father, your word declares in John 10 and 11, you said you came that we may have life and have it in abundance. Father, let this abundant life come upon this people this morning. I pray sickness and disease be far from them. I pray poverty and debtor be far from them, God. I pray confusion and strife be far from them, Father. I pray that you'll embrace them with love this morning, that they may have a hope in the name of Jesus. Father, we release blessings upon them this morning. We release health and strength this morning upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak a shift and a change in the atmosphere around them, Father God. I remove every negative force in the name of Jesus. Every assignment, everything that will cause destruction, I come against it in the name of Jesus and I release blessings, blessings, health, wealth, strength, prosperity, abundance, oh my God, relationship, intimacy in the mighty name of Jesus. And we cover them and we say it as well in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If it, was a, if it was appropriate, I think we could give him a round of applause, but in these settings, we are so appreciative of those words that he has given us with passion, as if Sister Elsie or Mama is speaking through him and telling him, the most important thing is your love. Your love for one another, your love for her, and most of all, your love for Jesus. For God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Should not perish. The Lord Jesus is giving us extra time to change our ways. Because that moment we close our eyes as the pastor says. It's appointed unto man once to die. But that moment you close your eyes is either you hear, welcome. Welcome, thou son and daughter. Or you hear, depart from me, I know you not. And you enter into the torment of hell where in the grave there is consciousness. Or you remember everything you did, but there is no change. So... I would like to open it for a few minutes. We just have a few minutes. I'm sure somebody would like to say thanks to their mother. Somebody, their grandmother, their great-grandmother, all right? She did a lot. A mother's love, we can't pay for that. Yes, as I said, she wasn't perfect, but she tried her best. She had great losses in life, but she tried her best. So somebody, I'll give the opportunity to you, be short, and say something for your mother. Some parting word to say thank you. I open it now. Dear Father, and thank you, Lord, for her too, Father God. I thank you for her, you know, that she spent so many times with me. And I don't know how to say it anymore again, but I love she so much. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Mama. I thank you, Mama. I love you, Mama. And she always sings this song, It is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. Thank you.
mama. Thank you. Thank you very much for everything. Bring in all your children, grandchildren, to be one. Like Pastor said, love everybody. All I want to say is thank you, Mama, very much. We, you will be missed. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Ryan Ramlogan. Um, this lady, she took care of me when I was small. My parents went over New York to seek betterment. This lady took care of me for my little boy. This little growing up, everybody know that. Each one of my cousins, everybody, them know that granny, hmm, words can't even express what she mean to all of us. Because for each one, of, each one of us, my grandmother was very, 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 very nice to each one of her grandchildren, her children, and her family, her friends. I want to thank everybody for being here today to show support on our departure of our grandmother. I would like for everybody, everybody, to please unite as one family. We did not reach here on this altar here to become one. All of, all of us have to come together as a family. That's what my grandmother wanted. To see love, peace, harmony. You know what I'm saying? Everybody need to put the past behind the back and look towards the future. That was she always tell me, you know, your mommy and daddy not there for you. I will always be there for you. I don't know who, the, who, who I'm going to talk to again. All I would say, for my grandmother, rest in peace. And I just hope everybody could have a love and a unity back together again as one family. Please, I'm asking you all, and I'm thanking you all for being here, and I really appreciate it to see everybody here this morning. And I don't know even what to say no more. <laughs> I have so much things to say. This lady, hmm. may she soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thanks, Lloyd. I know Hema wouldn't be able to say anything. You all were close. Thanks, Ryan. We feel your heartfelt appeal to one another so that we could live in love and harmony. You know, I remember this mother. She was driving along in a car with her daughter, and the car flipped over. And somehow the mother cr creep out the car, but the daughter couldn't, right? And she's bawling for help because her daughter is spinning under the car. And for some way, this lady not getting help, she lift up the whole car or the part of the car, and the daughter was able to come out. They put on TV and all that. And they say, how you lift up this car? How you could become a superwoman like this? So they give her the car to lift up, a similar car, and she can't lift it up. Could not. They give her the spare tire, and she couldn't even lift up that. So my question is, a mother's love is so strong and enduring, right? At that moment when her child is hurting or in trouble, she becomes a superwoman, all right? She becomes all for her child. You don't know what she had to go through. She didn't tell everything, but she did her best, and we have to remember that. So we are thankful 
the Bible says, who can find a virtuous mother. Her price exceeds that of diamond. So let us thank God. She was good. I remember her as a soldier of the cross. Other people used to make excuse to come to church. This lady used to take a stick. She could hardly climb the van. She's the whole. But she made sure get up early, cook her food. And she was in the presence of the Lord. The Bible says, seek ye, seek ye first. You know that scripture? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All right? And all these things. I know you all know all these things. But we thank God that you will follow them. Following the footsteps of her legacy. Holding on in spite of all her pain. Let's all stand. As we take our closing hymn on the sheet. Again, we thank God for every one of you coming out here. God bless you all for being an encouragement. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When the save and earth shall gather over all the other shore. And the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. On the bright and cloudless morning when the dead in Christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share. When his chosen one shall gather to their homes beyond the sky and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll, when the roll is called up yonder. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Let us labor for the master from the dawn till set in sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. As a teacher myself, I love to call roll. That was my first task to make sure the children were present. Not only that, you would hear their voices, right? And so could you think Jesus will call the roll? And when he called that name, Sister Elsie Rupchan, or the new name given in glory, Sister Elsie, you'll say, Lord, I am here. Isn't that wonderful? The most important thing, she did not harden her heart. She did not stiffen her neck, right? She listened. She obeyed. I know Raj Day used to correct her a lot about whatever was in her to try to get out any unforgiveness or anything over and over so that she will have, she will go to be clean with the Lord, a pure and clean vessel to be ready, right? The Bible says she fought a good fight. She finished her course. She kept the faith. And that's what matters. A crown is laid up. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
We give you thanks, Lord. We have the hope, God, of your calling, God. We know, Lord, absent in the body, she is present with the Lord. We know, God, of the sure resurrection. She will receive God. You said, Lord, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth on me, though he die, yet shall he live. And because I live, you shall also live. And Father, we thank you, Lord, for the assurance you have given us and her. Lord, we thank you for the life she lived, the legacy, the faithfulness, Lord, O oh God, that she endured all her troubles. You said, I reckon that the suffering of this present world is not able to compare with the glory that shall be revealed. Father, and we pray, Lord, now for the entire family, that you will keep us together, Lord, all the sisters, the brothers, Lord, all the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren. Lord, keep them, Lord. We know, as the pastor said, Lord, the thief come to stay, kill and destroy, but you come to give life. We speak life, Lord, and protection. Keep them, Lord, under the secret place of the Most High. Keep us all in this time, Lord, that we be able to give a good account. We pray, Lord, now, for, oh God, as we go to the committal, and as we go, Lord, to enter that body, Lord, or cremate that body, we know, Lord, her body will, oh God, her spirit and her soul will go to be with you. Her body, Lord, will be turned into dust. Dust you came, and dust to thou shall return. Father, we know, Lord, nothing. We've certainly brought nothing, and we will carry nothing. Only, Lord, our good works, blessed are they that die in the Lord. They rest from their labor, and their good works shall follow them. Have your way, Lord. The Lord bless us. The Lord keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us. Be gracious unto us. The Lord lift up his light of his countenance. Give us his richest peace and blessing, both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. May the Lord keep watch between you and I. While we are absent, one from another. Let's say thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. So we are not saying goodbye, Sister Elsie. Goodbye, Mama. We are saying good night. Jesus said death is asleep. All right? So we thank God for everyone who participated. Your patience. Thank you again for the funeral home. Patrick, you'd like to say something? Okay. Hi, good day. Good morning, everyone. Um, as we come to the end of our service, I'd like to thank everybody for being here. Um, you guys, we'd have a short viewing time, about a few minutes, and then we head to Port of Spain. So we'd like to follow the protocols of the funeral agency. They would open the box for the last viewing. Everyone is invited to come and view, right? Please do it in an orderly motion. Um, and keep your space and they ask that we don't take no video right because there's COVID you can take a picture if you want but that's just it right so as they open the box we will start and everybody get a chance all in the back to come and view thanks <laughs>